Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and Dark Road has been officially delisted from all app stores. And what does it mean and why did it happen? Let's talk about it. Welcome back to Yin Yang Tea Care, everyone. And today we're going to be talking about the breaking news that on August 28, 2024, here in North America, Kingdom Hearts has been officially delisted from all the app stores. So the first thing that I wanted to check out was to actually go to the Kingdom Hearts official website. So I went to Google and type in Kingdom Hearts. Immediately once I went into the official website, I went scrolled all the way down because it's also has links to other Kingdom Hearts games that also been released on different consoles. So when I go to Union Cross to that website, I scroll all the way down and immediately I clicked on available on the Apple Store Forbidden did not work. Went to the Google Play Forbidden as well. And then the last one, Amazon App Store Forbidden. So that unfortunately means that it's been delisted and you can no longer purchase it. However, I did find out that if you are a former purchaser of the Kingdom Hearts games, there is a way to get the game back. But that's only for the people that have already played it and owned it way before. So this rule only applies to users that wanted to buy the game for, you know, for the first time or download it for the first time. If you go to your phone, um, this is only for the iPhone users, but I would assume it's probably the same for, I would say, the Android users. So when you go into your iPhone, you go to the App Store, and when you type in Kingdom Hearts first, it's not going to pop up in any of the apps that you see. Just like that said, it's been delisted. So there is no Kingdom Hearts whatsoever, no Union Cross, especially on this region of North America. It doesn't matter if you type in Union Cross or just Kingdom Hearts in general. However, we go to your account and you go to the previous downloaded apps and you scroll down to all of the previous apps that you downloaded way before and you come and find that Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Dark Road is there and all you have to do is to re-download it again the little cloud with the arrow button and once you do that you already have Union Cross in your iPhone and all you have to do is just select it and now it could be able to play Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and Dark Road now it's been a while since the last update of Union Cross. That was back in 2021, I believe. And the only thing that they have is basically theater mode. So you can no longer play the game, but you can actually see all of the cutscenes that were around, especially for Union Cross and then also in Dark Road. And in addition, you can also see and play uh, the classic Kingdom Hearts game. So that's kind of like the one with Sora and make it kind of, of like that uh game and watch type of thing if you know if you're kind of like a nintendo fan right and you can also also play it in kingdom hearts 3 but yeah it's possible to re-download it and preserve the game only if you already purchased it way before so unfortunately we have to say goodbye to union cross especially for the people that didn't have the chance to play it. So Kingdom Hearts Union Cross first came out released in the United States or North America in 2017. And again, it's been a while and there hasn't been any updates. So why did, you know, Square Enix, the Kingdom Hearts team decided to delist it? Well, I do have my theory. I think the theory is, is that I believe that Missing Link is coming out very soon, probably during the fall or early winter. Because I think what they want to do is that they want to attract new players, especially Kingdom Hearts fans, to download the new game, Missing Link, because it's going to be kind of like an open world type of thing. It's, we're going to see a lot of, you know, Pokemon Go elements in that game. And for those of you that played, you know, the beta version or we've seen videos of the beta version, it kind of gives you an idea of what's going to happen. It's, it's going to be mostly like you're going to be playing all about, you know, open world i think they don't want two apps of the kingdom hearts games to have it at the same time because that's kind of like a little bit of competition inward competition but also i do believe that when whatever next game comes out either in the console game either kingdom hearts 4 
or maybe another bridge game that could possibly be coming out or a remastered version i do believe that union cross and dark road will have a remastered movie cutscene game just like what we saw with kingdom hearts 2.8 when we saw that uh cutscene so i would not be surprised if that would be the case for Union Cross and Dark Road, that there is going to be a remastered version of this in which it's going to be available to consoles. It's going to be either for like PlayStation 5, the Xbox, and maybe the Nintendo Switch. And since it's only going to be cutscenes, it makes sense. So it could either be a cutscene game element for Kingdom Hearts 4, or it's going to be a cutscene element for a future bridge game that is going to be connected with it. So I think it's very logical, but it also the timing is just very strange to me that they immediately delisted without even giving a second thought. They didn't even announce it in their, I would say, website or on their Twitter, or on their social media. So that leads me to believe that Missing Link should be coming out very soon. So what about you guys? What did you guys think about the delisting? Um, are you... Do you still have the game on your phone? Will you re-download it, especially if you're a past you know, gamer of player of playing uh, Union Cross and Dark Road. And what do you think that possibly there could be a remastered version of these games? Write your comments below. If you like the content of this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, hit the notifications so you know what future videos are available. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today. Don't forget, may your heart be your guiding key. Stay awesome, everyone.